This is Star Talk. All right, let's go to Tom Ricks. R I X. What a cool name. Tom, that is a cool, Tom that is a cool Ricks. Name. Tom Ricks wants to know this. Uh, first, he states To me, magic is simply a word to describe an occurrence that you didn't fully understand. Then he gives an example. For example, I imagine my dog Duke is completely bewildered by my ability to change images on the TV without touching it. I think you're giving your dog a lot of credit there, man. But anyway, he doesn't know about the invisible signal sent from the remote. So to him, it's complete magic. Would a technologically superior civilization be able to compete completely bewilder our scientists with their technology to the point where our scientists would believe it's magic? Or is our understanding of physics sound enough that we would know what's up, even if we couldn't replicate it ourselves? That was a long way to go to say this, Bill Nye. You as a scientist, you encounter an alien race. They are able to perform what looks like magic by violating the laws of physics. Would you say it's magic? Or would you say, no, I got to find out how they violated the laws of physics? I'd go with the second one. And what I'd probably say is there's some law of physics we don't fully understand. Okay. This is a, this something, this manifestation, this effect, this phenomenon is uh, described by some aspect of nature that we do not yet grasp. Gotcha. Uh, th- th- to say that the dog thinks it's magic when you change the channel. Hey, man. I'm open-minded but skeptical. Yeah, so am I. I think Duke, the dog... Just kind of takes it for granted. Yeah. Human shows up. He's got food. Right. Once in a while, he smells like a dog. Are we going for a walk? Yeah. Exactly. Are you another dog? Right. Are we going for a walk? Exactly. I'm tired. <laughs> Do you have any food? Right. I mean, that's, I don't think to the claim that a dog thinks it's magic, uh, it's a that a dog there. believes in supernatural uh, phenomena. I'm, yeah. I'm open-minded, but skeptical. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit anthropomorphic. You it is. Are, it's you're, projecting. You're projecting. It's projecting yeah. your human perceptions. That's so right. it was Arthur C. Clarke who remarked that any sufficiently sophisticated technology would be insufficient, would be indistinguishable from magic. Right. But it's a charming turn of phrase or quotation, but you start getting into the semantics of what is magic and you can knock yourself out. And I just think with 85% of the observable universe being dark matter, right. which means you can't see it, there's a lot we don't understand, peoples. There you That's go. That's all I'm saying. That's- to claim that that is magic, supernatural, and that certain people can control this dark matter, dark energy with their minds. I am your father. I am- <laughs> I'm open-minded, <laughs> but skeptical. Yeah, there you go, Tom. So, uh, no, that's not the way it would work. And uh, so uh, scientists would still say, nope, we just don't understand how they're doing it, uh, but it doesn't mean that it's magic. And two, any animal that licks its own testicles really doesn't care what's on TV. So there's your answer. Oh, I don't know. I've seen dogs. There's definitely certain programs dogs prefer. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, doubt. Oh, really? As an assessment of animal behavior. Okay. All right. I don't. It's not on my business card. Animal behaviorist. Maybe now I'm projecting because right. maybe me as a dog <laughs> wouldn't care what's on well, TV. Well, I think we're all dogs. <laughs> I feel a little Parliament Funkadelic coming on right now in a certain situation. <laughs> I'm a dog. But you, as you are the reader of the queries, right? You the man now, dog. There you go. That's right, my dog. <laughs> 